Hey everybody, if you've downloaded my Touch OSC setup, this video is purely about how to get it from your computer to your iPad or tablet, whichever you're using, and then uh, the basics of just being able to connect that to the RC600 and get it all running. Let's do it. If you've been on the site and downloaded the Touch OSC file, great. You'll have a folder like this, and uh, obviously there is Touch OSC in it. If you don't, uh, I've put the link below so you can download this setup file. It, it just covers the basics of I say the basics, but the majority of what you can do with Touch OSC and gives you a starting point to modify it, change it, look into, oh, how does he do that? What are the settings so that you can customize your own template as well? There's a, there's a link if you want to download it, but for most of you watching, you probably already have it. You're going to get this uh, among, amongst the, uh, the actual memory patch files that I have for the RC600. We're just dealing with Touch OSC today. So if you double click this Touch OSC file, provided you have Touch OSC, and if you don't, there's a link below as well, and you can download that, it will open up this. Uh, and say design for use with the Boss RC600. Uh, you will have to set up assigns. These are all linked if you actually download and use my RC600. Um, patches, memory locations, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I'll touch briefly in this video just how to use this file to set up your own assigns so that you can get it, get it all working. We have this. If you click on any of the bits and pieces, you'll see both naming. This is just a name. It says text over here and just outside of it you'll see if I click on the whole button this is now the button. You can scroll down for all the buttons and click on the MIDI messages and that's going to give you the actual okay channel 1 all of mine are on channel 1 apart from the rhythm uh, controller 6 cool that's saying that my CC in the assign is 6 <laughs> we'll get to that, but basically the the main part of this is you can go in and dive in and see all the settings that I'm using and go, oh, how do I switch to mode one? Okay, channel one, controller six, great, scale zero, these are all the settings. So mode two, click on the button, MIDI control change. Channel 1, controller 6, oh, it's the same assign, how interesting. Scale, 70, hmm, it's in the middle of the scale, minimum and maximum is the same value. How interesting, that's how we get to mode 2, mode 3. Uh, channel 1, controller 6, scale 127, minimum and maximum is both 127 at the other end of the scale. How fascinating. So you can use this. This is not the purpose of this video is not actually to go through that. So let's move on. But that's the reason for giving you all this so you can actually dive into the details that I've set. Take what's good for you and ditch the rest. Anyway, if your iPad or tablet is set up on the same Wi-Fi setting they're uh, really the easiest way within Touch OSC, and provided you have Touch OSC downloaded on your iPad, iPad, <laughs> iPad or tablet, then uh, this will work beautifully. You go into the little Wi-Fi uh, icon, edit a network. You're going to click down on Server and say Enabled. Perfect. Now if we go into the iPad and we open up Touch OSC, we are going to click that same Wi-Fi icon and you'll see it's got the name of my Mac Mini, my desktop computer. Um, we're going to say connect. Instantly it brings up 
the file that was open, which is this touch OSC RC600 file that you've downloaded. Um, you can hit the little dot to say disconnect, yep, no worries at all. But that file is there and then you can simply save it or rename it as suits uh, in your iPad or tablet. To do that in Touch OSC, you hit these little three um, bars on the side for the menu and we're going to hit this little download arrow um, button in the middle. We can rename it. I suggest saving a copy that's the same as what I've got so you can come back to it. So if, call it what you want. But um, then make another copy. Save another copy as mess with. So you can play around with it. You can delete things and you've always got that original to just go back to if you change some settings or get confused about things. So second part, if you've then edited things on your iPad, you want to send it back to your computer because you'd like to edit and work with it on the computer. You just do the opposite. So we're going to now go into this Wi-Fi on the iPad first. We're going to go to server. We're going to go enabled and then we'll untick enabled on, on our computer. And if we go to client, you'll see available servers, iPad 2. If I go connect, it will instantly bring up the file that I'm working on. And you can again just go file, save, and uh, then name it whatever suits you. So that's the easiest way. Uh, the other way, if you wish, is to avoid any of that working in touch OSC is you can genuinely from this file from this download you can right click click share airdrop amazing this will come up my iPad it's gonna send it and it's gonna come up open with touch OSC